Liz Truss speech, what Liz Truss's team of ministers said. The Prime Minister has cut most of Rishi Sunak's supporters but promoted a handful of rising stars, including the first elected in 2019, and Whips is set to join her government. 17 days after its launch, Deputy Prime Minister Therese Coffey was the first confirmed name. Rishi Sunak, Michael Gove and Dominic Raab backbent some of the most drastic decisions, such as ousting, were anticipated long before the new Prime Minister took office. But as the ministerial lineup formed, other trends emerged that provide clues as to how Mr. Truss will lead the government. The most notable move was the removal of almost all of his Sunak supporters from the government. Widely respected cabinet ministers such as Grant Chaps, Steve Barclay, George Eustace and Simon Hart are all on board. Snack's only supporter in the cabinet is Mrs. Truss, who is halfway through. It's just Robert Backlund, who switched, and Michael Ellis, in the relatively low-profile role of Attorney General. The appointment of Sunak's best friend, Robert Jenrick, as Secretary of Health was a bit of an issue. Some of Boris Johnson's greatest allies have also been eliminated. Former Secretary of the Interior Pridey Patel, former Secretary of the Cabinet Nigel Adams, and former Secretary of Culture Nadine Dries are back on the back bench. They join big beasts like Sajid Javid and Jeremy Hunt, and can easily cause trouble when things go wrong. I recognize that. Nearly every leader not only gave jobs to his rivals, but also hired Steve Baker, Damien Collins, Nasrit Ghani, Jesse Norman, Jake Berry and others. It's a nuisance for former conservative leaders if they want to. Ministries will reassure them, at least for the time being. The impressive spate of appointments shows the Prime Minister understands the importance of creating a pipeline of ministerial talent for the future. Not only did he give Badenoch the top job, but he asked Neil O'Brien, Alex Berghardt, Lee Laurie, and Julia Lopez to join the government. Her five ministers, from age 38 to her 45, resigned and joined Mrs. Badenoch's leadership her campaign, after denouncing Boris Johnson in a joint letter. If she were to become a future Tory leader, as many expected, the next contest could be between her and ultra-Brexit supporter Suella Braverman, who is now Home Secretary. There are. Some of these are older figures with successful business backgrounds, such as incoming Treasury Secretary Andrew Griffiths and Felicity Butchin, and Attorney General Rob Butler. But in a calculated game, she also appointed illustrious young MPs, with a reputation for attracting media attention, Brendan Clark Smith, Deanna Davidson, Jacob Young and Jonathan Garris. And form the new face of the Tories. Her five ministers, from age 38 to her 45, resigned and joined Mrs. Badenich's leadership her campaign, after denouncing Boris Johnson in a joint letter. If she were to become a future Tory leader, as many expected, the next contest could be between her and ultra-Brexit supporter Suella Braverman, who is now Home Secretary. There are. Some of these are older figures with successful business backgrounds, such as incoming Treasury Secretary Andrew Griffiths and Felicity Butchin, and Attorney General Rob Butler. But in a calculated game, she also appointed illustrious young MPs, with a reputation for attracting media attention, Brendan Clark Smith, Deanna Davidson, Jacob Young and Jonathan Garris. And form the new face of the Tories.